right gentlemen now we are going to talk about an ovarian tumor known as the mature cystic teratoma now teratomas can be identified at other sites in the body rarely but this is the this is a this is a place where uh, mature cystic teratomas present commonly now the name indicates that mature cystic teratoma are marked it's written here that marks marked by the presence of mature tissues derived from all three germ cell layers remember that there are three germ cell layers ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm and these tumors contain material or tissues derived from all of them in in a particular in a specific case we may not see all of the tissues derived from all of the germ cell layers but many of them are present okay the patient may present with a mass uh, or vague vague abdominal symptoms the patient may then undergo an ultrasound and the ultrasound the ultrasonographer may say that there is a mass in the right or the left indexa or right or left ovary it is removed and on gross inspection these are generally unilocular cysts that is it may be a single cyst compartment important thing to remember is that if somebody gives you gross picture of an ovarian of an ovarian tumor and there are hair visible at your level it is going to be a cystic teratoma or benign mature cystic teratoma nothing else okay and then if somebody has it you are more sure if somebody is also written that there is some sebaceous material as well okay so in a scenario if in a scenario somebody says that the tumor was removed there were hairs and sebaceous material you know that it's a mature cystic teratoma okay there may be a portion of epidermis visible some skin may be visible on gross inspection in a picture you have been given in an exam okay so most important thing to remember for you is that hair sebaceous material in epidermis skin may be identified on gross inspection and then sometimes tooth or bone can also be seen you expect almost any tissue because we're saying that it's a tumor that is that shows structures derived from all three germ cell layers see so by large anything can be seen but these are the most important ones to remember on gross inspection on microscopy you expect to see any tissue but on microscopy so if there's skin visible um on gross may and it may not be visible on gross but if we know that skin can be present so you can easily say that some stratified squamous epithelium can be seen on microscopy okay we say some sebaceous material if you remember from gross that some sebaceous material is visible you can write that sebaceous glands can also be seen on microscopy hair shafts can also be seen okay and then as they can be identified on gross they can be the same structures can be identified on microscopy and those structures are cartilage bone neural tissue can also be seen on microscopy as well as thyroid okay so we move on to the gross picture of one example i am stressing again that if somebody gives you an ovarian tumor and gives you this picture or, or a picture of this kind where hairs are visible these are the visible hairs okay if these are visible you know that's some pure cystic teratoma you see it's 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 a cystic tissue which has been emptied 
and there's a ball of hair visible so you know that it's gross picture of a mature cystic teratoma and then microscopy everything is not visible in this photomicrograph but you can see here on this side that this is stratified squamous epithelium along with surface keratin and then uh, there are some next structures below there's some cartilage some neural tissue maybe this is some neural tissue but you can see here the cartilage is visible so almost any tissue can be seen okay these might be some sebaceous glands which are not very clearly visible but okay so remember if in a question a scenario they mention a range of structures derived from different layers now that it's a mature cystic teratoma when they're talking about an adnexal structure or an ovary uh, in particular okay so this is it for now please let me know if you have any questions